Hello avid royal watchers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Prince Harry may have left his official titles behind, but a royal's work is never done. Meghan Markle's husband made the rounds this week to commemorate the 75th anniversary of VE Day, aka the celebration marking the end of World War II. He appeared on a BBC's The One Show on Monday to promote support for injured veterans. As a veteran himself, Harry is well known for supporting similar causes and even founded the Invictus Games, an international athletic event where wounded, injured or sick armed service personnel compete in a variety of sports. Unfortunately, like so many of our favourite annual events, this year's Invictus Games has been cancelled due to the coronavirus crisis. The Duke posted a message to Invictus, Invictus's social media acknowledging the change. As we commemorate VE Day this weekend and pay tribute to the service and sacrifice of the entire Second World War generation, we should have also been gathering today at the Netherlands to kickstart the Invictus Games 2020 in The Hague. Life has changed dramatically for all of us since I was last in The Hague. Of course, Harry's life has changed quite dram dramatically even without COVID-19. After quitting the royal family, he moved to Canada and then Los Angeles in a quick succession, where he is reportedly staying in Tyler Perry's mansion with his wife and son Archie who just celebrated his first birthday. The VED, VE Day celebrations are obviously close to the prince's heart, but it might be causing a bit of homesickness too. Though he's reportedly kept in close touch with his friends and colleagues in the UK, a source told Vanity Fair, he has a lot of friends in the military community in the UK, and of course he misses them. This is a very strange time for us all, but I think Harry is missing having a structure to live, live his life right now. He doesn't have friends in LA like Meghan, and he doesn't have a job. So at the moment, he is a bit rudderless, but it won't always be like this, and he knows that. The 35-year-old royal used Instagram to promote some alternate programming that the Invictus Game team has come up with, and encouraged the community to support each other through this strange time. He said, Please look out for those who have gone quiet or that are no longer visible in the chat sites. You guys are the best at this, so I have no doubt you are all running around and supporting one another. That's a message we can all take to heart. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.